Okay, this one's about what happens to the inside of pipe when you use high temperature brazing on the pipe. And I'm going to take this piece of pipe here and I'm going to heat it up as I would if I was brazing it. And I'm going to run nitrogen through it and we'll see what the condition is. And then I'm going to not run nitrogen through it, just leave it open on the ends. And let's see what happens. Okay, now here you can see I'm going to be running the nitrogen through here and it'll come out the end of the pipe. And I'm going to warm up a section of this pipe. Okay, here we go. What I wanted to show you is you can see all the copper oxide in the outside of this thing. Now I'm going to take a look at the inside and we'll see if there's any copper oxide inside. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to see if there's anything inside. Okay, you can see there's not hardly anything come out of there. So the inside of that pipe stayed pretty good. Now I'm going to show you next with no nitrogen running through the lines and let's see what happens when I uh, do this again. Now we're going to heat that up with uh, nothing running through it, just open. Okay, now we'll take a look inside and we'll see just what's inside. Okay, this thing's cooled down. I'm going to scrape off the, the copper oxide from the outside of it. Now I'm just going to knock out what's inside. Okay, you can see what comes from inside that pipe. That's what we're trying to avoid, is this stuff here. Uh, it really does make a difference if you uh, run nitrogen through the lines while you're brazing.